Good morning, children. Today we are going to look at your textbook, page sixty-nine. 同学们早上好。今天我们要看的是你们的课本第六十九页。Look at the title. Today we are going to look at something called interrogative pronouns. Interrogative pronouns. In Mandarin, you call it 疑问词 So, what is an interrogative pronoun? Today we are going to learn four. We have what, who, whom, and which. Again, we have what, who, whom, and which. When do we use interrogative pronouns? We use them when we ask questions. 基本上呢，疑问词就是在问问题的时候用的。All right, let's look at your textbook. We have some examples here. Can you read after me? Who was hurt? Sam was hurt. To whom did you tell the news? I told his father. All right. These are two examples. Who? When you use who, you will get Sam. When you use whom, you will get father. So, what is the difference between who and whom? I will tell you later. Before that, let's look at the grammar tips. The word what, who, whom, and which. Are interrogative pronouns. These four 呢都是疑问词 We use an interrogative pronoun to ask a question. The interrogative pronoun represents the thing that we do not know. 那为什么我们用疑问词呢？因为有东西是我们不知道的，所以呢，我们用这些的疑问词来代替 We use who. Whom and sometimes which to refer to people. 那我们用 who, whom 还有 which 来代表人。We use what and which to refer to things and animals. 那 what 和 which 呢，也是用来指东西还有动物。You might find this a bit confusing, so I have gave you one summary. 那，你同学们，你们可能觉得读这里有一些混淆。那老师呢，也把你们简单的列了出来。Who or whom is for people? What is for things or animals? And which you can use which to refer to people, things, and animals, and mostly when you are given a choice. 那就是说。Who, whom? 你们是用在人的身上。What 就是用来指东西或者是动物。Which 就是人、东西、动物都可以用。那通常呢，我们是有选择的时候。Which, all right? What is the difference between who and whom? Who 还有 whom 其实都是谁谁，所以他们到底有什么？不一样的地方呢 ？Let's look at this. Who is a subject pronoun like I, he, she, we, and etc. We use who to ask which person does an action or which person is a certain way. 就是说 ，who 就是一个主语。它用来代替什么呢？用来代替 I, he, she， 还有 we。那我们什么时候用 who？ 就是说我们要问这个人是谁，或者是他做了什么东西。Then we use who. Look at the examples given here. Who is this? Who is that girl? Who undertakes many things at once, seldom does anything well? All right. These are the examples given, but what is whom? Let's look at 
whom. Whom is an object pronoun like him, her, us, and etc. We use whom to ask which person receives an action. Whom, 虽然它也是谁，可是呢，它和 who 不一样。Who 我们通常放在句子的最前面，因为它是主语，它用来代替主语。可是 whom 它是用来代替 object。object 包括了 him、her， 还有 us。你想想，我们的英语的句子，我们不会说 him is my friend， 不对，我们说 he is my friend。所以我们问问题的时候 ，Who is your friend？ He is my friend. 那 him 所以又怎么用呢 ？I like him. Whom did you like? I like him. 看到分别了吗？好 ，Look at the examples. From whom did you receive these flowers? To whom did you give the book? Whom did you choose for our team? I choose her. I choose him. 所以呢，我们就把 him, her， 还有 us 这些 object pronoun， 我们把它换成 whom. All right. Now, look at the exercises in your textbook. Number one, two. Should the farmer give the machine? When we look at a question, we always look for the Keyword. Where is the keyword? Two. When you see two, what is the answer? Whom? To whom should the farmer give the machine? Number two. Did you find? I found an old compass. The keyword is an old compass. It is a Thing. So when it is a thing, you use what? Number three. Did you buy a light bulb or a plug? The keyword is or. You need to make a choice. So when you are given a choice, you use which? Number four. Won the king's prize. The tailor. Where is the keyword? The tailor. It is a person. So, do you use who or whom? In this case, we use who. Number five. Did Ida use the crutches or the wheelchair? The keyword here is or. Again, when you see or, the answer will be which. Number six is your cat's gender. It's a female. All right. The key word here is a female. It's a noun. So you use what? What is your cat's gender? It's a female. All right. Let's recap. Today we have learned about four interrogative pronouns. 今天我们学的是四个的疑问词 We have what to show things, who to show people, whom is for people, but we use it to ask for the object pronoun. And which we can use it for people, things, and animals, and mostly when you are given a choice. All right. Practice time. Please complete the exercises in the Google form. And that's all for today. Thank you and bye.